Well, she thinks she's going somewhere, but she's not. She's going into the yard with Lily. Come on, let's go over here and see Sister. We'll do it this way first because, you know, this one's got treats buried everywhere. Let's go in and see Sister. Here. Yeah, you're in here with Lily. Don't be jumping around like a, 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 a jumping bean. Wow, Rooster wants to check out the yard. She's never been in here. I don't know. Quit, quit pulling, Rooster. Hey, quit pulling. We're not going towards the dog apartment. You're in here with Lily. Look at Lily. Lily's loving this. And I'll let you off this once you, I see that you guys are, are going to be okay. Right here, let's just come over here and chill. This is the shade shelter that you've looked at for years. Come here, Lily. Come here. She's not going to bother nothing. Yeah. Well, we're bringing you company. Within a few days, you guys will probably be running both these yards. Here. It's okay. Don't sneak up behind her, Lily. She's a little girl, she, but she she's carries a punch. Yeah. I need to go scoop poop. We're just going to stick right here, Rooster. Let her get used to this yard. And they're both doing good. Yes, maybe I'm overprotective. But if she were to take a bite at Rooster, <laughs> it would hurt. She's just a little girl. Got to be protective of Rooster. It should be, it's probably the other way around. Well, let's go over here by Lily. You just want to sit? Yeah, you got a friend now. You got a friend. It's okay. They're both unsure of things. Yeah. Rooster, just sit down. Lay down by my tub. Yeah, good girls. Oh, Rooster wants to... Yeah, she wants to be a friend, Rooster. Don't you be getting... Oh, they want to play. Oh, Lily, it's okay. That's just Miss Rooster. Yeah. She says, how come she's got hair and I got fur? Well, you're a different kind of dog. Look at Rooster's tail. you got a dirty square butt, Rooster. i got to brush you. That is a perfectly round turd over there. Daddy's got to scoop again. Summertime, I don't have to scoop much because the bugs eat it all. Maybe we'll bring you in the dog apartment later, okay? We're going to do this a little bit at a time. I'm going to do it my way. Yeah, you were you were out all night. She's nocturnal now, Rooster. Yeah. This is too big of a yard for me to be running around. That's why the Rooster's on the leash. Okay, why don't you lay down there right next to her and you guys could have a conversation about stuff. Yeah. Good girl, Lily. Good girl, Rooster. Yeah. No sudden moves, Rooster. That's Rooster is very uh, jumpy. And I don't want Lily to take that the wrong way. You gonna lay down there next to Sister? Yeah, good girls. Why do you move like a, a jackrabbit? Huh? Yeah, this is, you get to see out. You've never been in this yard ever. All these years, you've never been in this yard. These things suck, man. If you brush up against them, they stick to you. I got all those cut down, but Waldo used to get covered in them. Yeah, good girls, good girls. She's checking you out, Rooster. Good girls. And the Skipper and Gilligina. Yeah. Well, it's okay. Don't don't press her up against that rooster. Okay, I'm probably probably being way overprotective. Well, let's see if Lily will follow us up here into the shade. You coming, Lily? <laughs> Where are you going? Okay, we'll come around there. How's that? Let's go into the dog apartment, Rooster. You ready to go to the dog apartment? 
All right, come on. Let's go visit Lily in her own digs. There's Rooster. There's Rooster. Where you at, Lily? All right, let me turn the light on so you guys can see. It's the dog apartment. Now, don't get jumping up in her bed, okay? Lily's hosting the party. And you're invited. Let me turn the music down. That's Lily's bed. Yeah, that's Lily's bed. She's getting herself a drink. Okay, let me sit down. She's, she's, you got your first visitor in your apartment. Alright, let Daddy get a chair, okay? Let me put this over here, Lily. Yeah. Oh, you got an apartment. Yeah, Miss Lily. I wish I could just take her. I could probably just take her off this, but let's give it a little time. I have always been overprotective when it comes to getting new dogs together because I've seen too many things go wrong. But usually, usually it goes right. <coughs> yeah. Where's Lily? You gonna tell her some stories? You got plenty of stories. She says, I like your apartment, Miss Miss Lily. <coughs> Alright, let me turn this off for a minute and we'll get you guys going. Lily. I thought you had tea. You guys always invite us over for tea. And you don't never have tea. Lulu was bad about that. About not having tea or beer or no cold beverage. Can Brewster get a slurp out of your bucket? Ah, uh, here we go. She says, look at my bed, Brewster. There's room for both of us. <laughs> go easy, Brewster. Don't just jump in there with her. I want them to get to know each other. There's no snapping or any of that going on, so that's good. Yeah. She says, if I move over, you can get in here, sister. But I'm gonna hog the whole bed. Here we go. Whoa, he wants to play with you. She says, you got any snacks in here, sister? She doesn't. She doesn't have tea. She doesn't have cookies. She doesn't have any snacks, Rooster. <laughs> Lily, what do you think? She's little sister. You're just a little bit older than her, I think. Not much. I got you as an eight-week-old puppy in 2014. And then I got her in 16. I think she was still a puppy. She was pretty young, so you're older than her. But you guys are the closest in age. Yeah. But you still don't know what to think of her, do you? Oh, here we go. Yeah, she says, come back, sister. And the rooster, I know what she's thinking. She says, I can fit in here, too. She says, I can fit in here. Okay, here, here. Well, you just take it slow, rooster. You're always the one that, you know, you, you're trying to smother her. Good girls. We got good girls. Yeah. Something silly is about to happen. I just, no, are you chattering? Are you clicking? You are, you're chattering your teeth. Which means you're nervous. <laughs> Rooster, what do you think of, of Lily? She says all this time they're living in the lap of luxury out here with rugs and beds. Oh. Rooster let out a whine and Lily had a little concern. Lily, she's liking your hospitality. Yeah. You can tell Lily loves this. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. You got a big old smile on your face. Rooster, that's well water. You've never drank well water in your life. You drink daddy's water. I don't think you like well water. Oh, oh, we got a moment here. Some, something might need barked at. 
What do we hear? Got smiles on both faces. Yeah. All right, let me turn this off for a while and we'll come back when you two are just got backpacks on, you're going for a hike. Rooster wants up in there, but I'm relent. I'm, I don't want to let that happen yet. And then old Roy got out of rehab, came back, took over the company, and you guys know the rest of the story because I've told this story to you a dozen times in your life. The story of old Roy, the alcoholism, and the almost collapse of the old Roy empire. And there's a step. They're getting comfortable with each other. Perhaps another story. Have you heard the one about the Keebler Elves? Uh-huh. They took up arms. And they were on a mission. A mission of their lives. That's right. They were going to rescue the Skipper and Gilligan from the island. But the elves were terrible at raft building. Rooster, hey, I'm telling a story. And their raft collapsed and they sunk and they perished. And now you know the rest of the story. She says, I know there's room in that bed for me. I know there is. Should have left the other bed in here. Rooster just being nice. She's uh, not on her, but bringing Lily in the house would probably be a whole different ball game. But we're gonna do it this way first. Start them out slow. We got a lot of time. Huh, Lily? You like sister. All right, it's been a while, and they're they're both getting comfortable. We got their TV on. Maybe Rooster can come in here during the day, hang out with with uh, hang out with Lily, cause no dog needs to be cooped up inside of a house. We're gonna bring that her in. We're gonna give this a lot of time, then we'll bring Lily in. That's when it's on, cause Rooster has about five beds. She's got stuff hidden all over the place. I don't know. Maybe nothing. May go just good. Lily, looks like your bed's falling off to the side. Yeah, the other bed kind of held that one up there, but she's fine. She was up all night long last night, but I didn't hear her barking. She just likes to be out at night now. You gonna go see her? Go see her, uh, Rooster. Go see Sister. Look at that. I think she made room for you to get up there with her. Did you make room for her? Yeah, you did, didn't you? Because the bed looks lopsided with just you on there. <laughs> She's comfortable. I would take her off this leash if it wasn't for that. I don't feel like chasing her because when she gets out into that open space, she is going to run her butt off. I'll never catch her. And I don't feel like chasing a rooster. Have you ever chased a, a rooster? They're not fun and easy to catch. If I had a door that I could shut, don't want to do that either. I'm just going to do it this way. Oh, Rooster. Sisters. Well, you didn't hear about the tea party. You missed it. Yeah. Where's your silly sister? Oh, there she is. There she is over there. What you doing, Moe? Oh, I hear someone else. Waddles. He can't decide if he wants to be in the new pen or the old pen. So he's just kind of standing in between. He's got one foot in each of them. Where are you going to be, Waddles? Yeah. Well, let's come around here, guys, and tell me what you don't see anymore. And it is just beautiful. Beautiful out. If it wasn't for the drought, I'd be loving this. I still love it. But look at this. 
all them old tires are gone good subscriber came by said he would take them off my hands because he could he could get rid of them for me uh, at no cost and he just left I'm not mentioning names but thank you thank you thank you that is the last of the garbage that was picked up on this land there's only one tire left and you know what I may do with that I may roll it up here by the deck and just give it a heave and let it go down into them weeds knock them weeds over out of sight out of mind right and I'll tell you, you know when there's a drought, when all the water dries up inside these, there's just none. And it is dry. I just hope no idiots come by with a cigarette and throw it out their vehicle. People still do that. They just don't care. And that's how a lot of fires get started. Even when I smoke, man, I never did that. Never. I always use the ashtray or bust the cherry off and keep the butt. Of course, you learn that in the military, not to litter, not to throw cigarette butts down. Because if you've ever been in the military, it is one of the first things they make you do is pick up cigarette butts. But there's a reason behind that as well as cleaning up the property. It is to train your eyes, okay? To look for small details, to look for landmines. But they don't tell you that. But that is one of the purposes of doing a police call, is what they call it. When when everybody lines up and they're picking up cigarette butts, trash, is to train your mind to keep you focused on watching the ground. So you don't hit tripwires, landmines, things like that. Don't know why they don't tell you that, but I didn't learn that until Drill Sergeant Academy. When that was when when they told us that, we're like now i get it yeah now you know all right i guess that's gonna do it for a video just didn't have much else going on today i'm kind of babysitting the post comment section yeah i have to do that that's the last one i'm gonna babysit <laughs> then i'll let you guys go back to normal but let's go see one more dog she, she don't know she's a dog you know, as soon as you leave, well, she's still there. They always disappear. What you doing, Mo? Come here. Did you did you miss the tea party? See how she's kind of walking like that when she gets up. I need to go check the mailbox because I think your medicine's here. Yeah, yeah. Let's go down there and check. She's always had that issue with her front paw, and then the more she walks on it, it gets back to normal. And by this evening, she's running around playing, but. She's, I've noticed she's getting uh, her back hips, you know, so got to get her what she needs. Huh, sister? Yeah, they're good girls. They're such good girls. You guys, I didn't even pick you guys. You guys picked me. But you're here. Yeah, you're here. I would be down to two dogs now if it wasn't for you guys showing up, but I'm glad you did. I like having you guys. You're sillier in a box of Wheaties. Yes, you are. All right, let's go see if your your medicine's here. Now you stay up here, cause I don't want you down by the road. All right, about two in the afternoon. I'm starting the dogs' dinner. There's still quite a bit left over from yesterday when I cooked their dinner, but I'm gonna add to it. Ground meat over here. And then over here, I got some boneless chicken breast in the electric skillet. And yesterday, I had chicken liver, broccoli, hamburger, ground turkey. We're going to add that to all this. And that's for my dinner later. When you cook as much meat as I do, you got to take the trash out often because in packages, even if you rinse them, it gets stinking. So. Meat packages are bad. Meat is good. I'll let you see the dog food when it's done. All right, I added the chicken to it. I put some green beans, a little broccoli in there. This is their meal yesterday. Now that has chicken livers in it. So I'm gonna add that to the new, let it cool for a while. 
and they're ready to eat. This this will be a couple of days worth of food here. Yeah, the dogs are eating better than me, man. And there's the finished product. Dog man, dog food. Mmm. I could have a bowl of that if it didn't have veggies in there. Yeah. Alright, this is what I got for Millie. And I'll give some to Lily too. Uh, for large dogs, I think it says you give them a whole dropper full. She'll probably get about three quarters. I just put it in the top of their food and they eat it. And uh, this stuff is miracle stuff for dogs with arthritis, bad hips. Uh, you will notice a change within days. I mean, this is great stuff. And the price has come way down on this. I paid like 60 bucks for this same bottle. The bottle might even have been smaller a couple years ago with Waldo. And I got this for two bottles for $26 on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. But if this don't work for you, I don't think anything will. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy trails.